For those who love being on the open water, living aboard a private yacht can be the ultimate experience. It's a lifestyle of true freedom, unequaled beauty, and constant adventure. A way to visit unique and exciting places that aren't accessible by car, plane, train, or foot. But big boats and the people who facilitate their charters can be as uncertain as they are pricey. Will the months of planning and our family's complicated journey to catch our 51-foot catamaran for a five-day tour of the Exumas be the trip of a lifetime? Or will we end up stranded in paradise without a backup plan? We got a not so fortunate email. We have to be careful talking about this because the kids, this was a surprise for the kids and they're just in the other room. We had a surprise trip for them. Piggybacking on this trip. Right now we're in Harbor Island, Bahamas. We're here for four nights and then we're gonna leave here and just go across the island and get on a... We are taking a private charter five nights in the Bahamas. Here's the email we just got from Inspirato. Yeah. I hope you guys are enjoying your Harbor Island time. Wanted to reach out to you with updates on your private cruise. The four cabin catamaran that was secured for you has returned from its previous charter today with significant damages. And after a thorough inspection, it was deemed unusable for the upcoming cruise. Roll with the punches. It is what it is. So they damaged the boat. They can't use it. Yeah, because we're supposed to leave in two days. We're supposed to leave in two days for this. We've been working on it for many months. And now we don't know what we're going to do. After a restless night, we discovered we had a bigger problem than we realized. We couldn't simply go back to Denver. All right, so little update. We have learned that there's nearly no way for us to leave the island tomorrow, which is our checkout date from this cottage as of now. Um, we can't take a ferry and we can't take a plane. And then ooh, we're getting a call from Sperato. We gotta get this. The ferry doesn't leave Harbor Island for Nassau until Friday and all the commercial flights leaving the next two days were full. We didn't know how we would get home and we didn't want to either. So not too much progress. Um, we I can stay in this cottage an extra night. So we have until Thursday. And at that time, that is the first opportunity we have to take uh, a plane um, to NASA. And I don't know, we might need to just head back to Denver on Thursday. So we're scrambling, still hanging on to see if there are any replacement charters. So we searched all morning for an alternative second leg to our Bahama vacation. We had a lot of help on that search from Inspirato, other members we've gotten to know online, and a charter broker back home in San Diego. Unfortunately, we now have to let the kids in on what was supposed to be a surprise. I have to fill you in on what's going on because we had a, a surprise plan. Do you know how we told you that we were going to do a surprise? I thought the surprise was us going on the plane. I know. We thought that was going to trick you also because the surprise was actually really supposed to be that when we check out of our cottage tomorrow, we're going in another cottage. we were going to go on a private yacht for five nights. We're going to live on a yacht. For five nights. Five. Wait, now, I'm not joking. I'm not. I'm not. Unfortunately, aside from the damage to the boat, <laughs> that the boat that we were supposed to be staying on, the previous, the people who rented it before us, it got damaged on that trip. And it's inoperable. So we cannot take that charter. We are trying to find a replacement, but I want you guys to understand that whatever happens, this is an adventure that we are all in together. We already have an incredible life and we are going to find an amazing replacement for this specific experience. I'm grateful for whatever happens. You know, if we go home tomorrow, or not tomorrow, <laughs> because we can't actually get off Harbor Island or Eleuthera tomorrow, but if we go home Thursday and we go back to Denver uh, with no alternative yacht charter, I still feel so much gratitude because of the sense of community that we have gotten. So, so many people have reached out to help us solve this very good problem to have and it's touching and if I didn't have my glasses on you'd see that I'm tearing up because I'm such a crybaby. We're taking a little break from the trip planning or the trip replanning and we're going horseback riding and we're just told that we're gonna do it bareback so that's gonna be fun and so so excited to do it on the beach. It's gonna be beautiful. 
Our guide really, really likes Brooklyn, thinks she's adorable. She walked up and he goes, you're my favorite. <laughs> and now Brooklyn's currently selling him on our channel. So subscribe, because if he doesn't, Brooklyn's gonna be upset. So if you do, she'll think it's him, and she'll be super happy. Stop talking to yourself, woman. <laughs> fun to do this without like saddles and everything because you don't have the complexity it's just like finding a horse out in the wild and jumping on what do you like what do you like better this or the middle of mexico bareback's fun huh about tomorrow or Thursday and what's gonna happen. After a lot of help and a lot of research, we were lucky enough to find a few workable options, one of which was a three-night charter on a Silent 55, our dream yacht builder. But after considering price, size, and departure date, we ended up deciding to... I think we should just go with the other one. I do. Time's out better. Can it I... pick us up on Harbor? No, we have to go to Nassau on Thursday. All right, well, let's let Lucy know. It's a 47 foot um, catamaran. We thought we had it all figured out until we ran into another major problem. Okay, holy moly. Our second yacht, the replacement yacht for the first one that broke, also broke. The generator went bad or something. So, the amazing people over at Inspirato already rounded up a third option for us, but this immediately brings up our whole question around the silent yacht, which of course is our, our bread and butter, it's our passion, right? We're so excited about silent yachts. I talked to the captain of that yacht today. It's the biggest one out of all of the options, including the original boat that we had chartered. And of course, it's just a silent yacht, so it would be primo. Problem is, we're just trying to decide between something that's more of a sure thing because it's arranged by Inspirato, but I'm kind of leaning toward the more expensive silent yacht just because that experience is so on point with what we want. The whole idea here is that we want to see what it's like to live on a silent yacht. And Phil is so much better at this constant change than I am. I'm still in training. Uh, this situation is seriously giving me whiplash. I'm sure it's giving you heartburn to... Heartburn, whiplash, all the injuries. But it's just an adventure at the end of the day but we still don't know what that adventure is yet. Or which day it'll be on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's uh, 8.30 a.m. on Thursday right now. We just packed up the house, left. We're waiting at the dock so we can get a water taxi over to the other island, North Eleuthera. And then we, uh, we chartered probably the same plane that we took on the way here to take us back to Nassau. And that was because of Inspirato and their, their generosity to get that plane for us. Yeah, they've been bending over backwards for all of this stuff. And then when we're in Nassau, we're actually hoping to hear from our silent yachts buddy, the captain of that boat, so that we can see if that's what we're going to do for the next few nights. So we'll see. Headed back to Nassau for the boat, and we finally worked out the absolute, absolute plan for which boat we're getting on. We're getting on a 45-foot sailing catamaran out for adventure. 
If you know how passionate we are about the Silent Yachts brand, you'd see how having one plopped right into our laps at precisely the moment we needed one is pretty much the quintessential illustration of the law of attraction. But in the end, the captain let us know that they just weren't ready to host our family of five. With no time to dwell on disappointment though, we psyched ourselves up for what was now going to be a rather unplanned version of our yachting adventure. All right, the adventure continues. We're finally here at the marina. We haven't seen our boat yet, but we at least got our bags inside. We signed our contract, so we're kind of ready to go. But part of the deal here with this being such a short turnaround on our third attempt, almost fourth attempt at getting a boat here this week is that there was not enough time for them to actually turn around and do the provisioning. So we've got to do our own shopping. So we're going to head to a grocery store. We're going to provision the entire boat, including for the captain, which should be very interesting since we're talking about essentially five days worth of groceries. And Let's make it a little more interesting if you look over this way. We got a storm coming in. Potentially. So we might be bringing groceries back in the rain too. We'll see. We might be sleeping in the rain tonight. I but. think we're sleeping in the rain tonight. Yeah. Okay. All right. Our taxi's here. So let's head over. You hear the thunder? It is pouring outside. So we're going to take our sweet time in here shopping for groceries so that we don't have to go out in the rain. Also, I'm sure that we're going to miss like a hundred things that we're supposed to have. Like, I don't know if we need to bring trash bags. I don't know if we need to bring dish soap. I have no idea what's on the boat. So we're probably going to have a really interesting time. What's the over under on price, baby? So let's do 500. I'm doing over. Over 500. So they asked if it's, we wanted these insulated bags and we only have a little bit of freezer food. So we said just one is fine. We didn't realize those are the only bags they have to sell us to take these groceries to the marina. So now we probably have to buy at got 20 of those $3 bags. Definitely over 500 now. <laughs> Look, it actually stopped raining for us to get the groceries in the van. What are you excited about? The yacht, the yacht, the yacht, to go on a Fortnite yacht foot trip thing. Boat cruise. I can't do it. <laughs> I was doing it too loud for human hearing. First order of business. We are finally so excited to welcome you aboard to our home for the next four nights. This is a 45 foot four cabin catamaran that we're on. When you come in, galley is right here and it's fully functioning. So you have this little oven here. How cute is that? How tiny of a turkey are you gonna make for Thanksgiving in that oven? A stovetop sink and I love this little surprise that I found. That's a microwave. I'm super glad that we bought that popcorn at the grocery store. <laughs> And then this table perfectly seats five comfortably. We're gonna have no problem sitting in here. But looks like we have a little rum. I don't know, this might be just for the captain, maybe we'll share, but either way, don't get drunk, drunk, drinking. <laughs> Sounds like it's already drunk. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's head on down, starboard side, where Phil and I Port. are gonna sleep. Port side. Oh, you're right, starboard. I, yeah. Sorry about that. Phil and I are gonna sleep down here. We just got our bags out, so we haven't unpacked yet, but this is where the magic's gonna happen on the boat. If the boat is a rockin', never mind, forget it. But we're gonna have to get creative with space. But here, we at least have some hanging space for my dresses that can be nice and pressed up. But I love it, we have a little sunroof there, lots of windows. So excited to sleep here. And it's an ensuite. suite. The other hole is identical, so we're not gonna show you that one. I'm gonna show you all 
the goodies and fun stuff outside. We're in the cockpit, and this is where we're storing for now all the groceries that we bought at the store while it was storming, but it's nice and dry now. So we'll put the groceries away in a minute. But, very exciting news, our captain, Alexander, is here. Hi guys, welcome aboard. So glad to have you guys with us for this week. Hello, Bethlehem. <laughs> <laughs> So like I said, so glad to have you guys with us this week. We're gonna be exper I'm exposing you guys to tons of fun, crazy activities. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a hectic few days, but we're gonna get it all in, right? Awesome. We're gonna squeeze it all into a tight, tight schedule. Can't wait. We're gonna be good. This is great. Can't wait. We're up for anything so with gratitude. All right, let's check out the flybridge. Here we are at the helm. This is where I imagine most of the steering, if not all of the steering is gonna be. And the beautiful sun deck, get some sun and the wind in your face because this, I'll show you over here, it is a sailing yacht. So we're really happy to not use too much fuel. It's important to Phil and I to be as eco-friendly as possible and that's one of the big reasons we love silent yachts so much. All right, let me show you the trampoline. Classic catamaran trampolines. Check out all the fishies. We have several more episodes that take you along on this five-night yachting adventure, so be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notifications bell. That way, you won't miss our visits to Zuma's hotspots like Pig Island, an underwater plane wreck, swimming with sharks, and more. We're the Lockwoods, a family of five with five careers, three schools, and infinite passion for adventure. So we redesigned our business and studies around a lifestyle of freedom and world travel. Join us on our journey. Thank you.